Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about the Flying Steel Javelance. This is a bow shuriken uh, throwing spike from Flying Steel. And I'm also going to talk about my methodology and thought process when it comes to actually selecting a throwing weapon. So you'll have two learning points in this video. Um, right off the bat, if you've not seen the video where I throw this particular implement through the eye of a cd rom be sure to check that out in the link to the description below. Just so you're kind of you know uh, aware of the capabilities of this accuracy-wise. Because I really don't feel like replicating that throw. It took a while. Um, the Javelin from Flying Steel comes in three different sizes. Um, it comes in a 9 inch, a 10.4 inch, and 11.8 inch. Um, the 11.8, the one I bought, is 210 grams and is made from US 01 steel and has a Rockwell hardness of 45 RC. That means it's very well made um, and near indestructible. The tips on these things are outrageous. It's one of those weapons where you throw, it'll bounce off your target, and it'll stick into a piece of bark or a tree or stuff. Um, so I've had some crazy instances of that happening. The reason why I went with the largest weapon, and if you've um, watched some of my other videos, you'll, you'll know that I prefer longer weapons in regards to no spin um, and no spin long range. Okay, Just because a weapon is comfortable to throw doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to be the weapon that you're able to reach your full potential as a thrower. All right, To me, it's more important that I reach my full potential in regards to like accuracy, range, and consistency as opposed to throwing something that I'm very familiar with. Okay. Um, another thing, or another reason you don't really see me throwing a whole lot of bow shuriken is that I'm a knife thrower. I like to throw knives, combat knives, fighting knives, any kind of knife really. Um, and bow shuriken are made for throwing, but they're also a little bit more bland. They're not something I would carry every day. Um, they're not as, you know, the designs aren't as, you know, intricate. It's really just like a baseline throwing implement. Um, so they're a little bit basic um, and but with that said, I want to be able to reach my full potential in regards to range. So I bought some um, bow shuriken from Flying Steel, and these are probably some of the best bow shuriken I've ever thrown. Uh, my experience with bow shuriken has been pretty limited to um, ones that have sort of like a square profile. Okay, so if you're looking at the point, say the point is right here, all right, it has a square and it kind of narrows down into the point. Okay, with um, Patrick's um, uh, jab lances. It's more rectangular, okay, which matches up really well with my grip because I have a very traditional Japanese grip, okay. So I drive with my index finger and I kind of pinch the implement between my thumb and my uh, ring or middle finger, okay. And I kind of guide with my ring. I don't want to get too much into the specifics of my uh, shuriken jutsu technique. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to see more bow shuriken style stuff. Um, but with that said, it accommodates my grip really, really well. With that said, I did take one of the bow shuriken I bought and I taped the handle. Um, not because I didn't like the rectangular um, style handle, um, but because it added more weight. And with more weight, I was able to get longer range, and it was, or it's easier for me to throw longer range throws um, with more weight at the handle end. Um, and a lot of people do the same way. They like to, you know, no spin weapons, they like to tape the handle up. Um, this was a great weapon. Um, if you're going to get into bow shuriken, uh, or no spin throwing, I would start with these. Get some 11.8 uh, jab lances, all right? It does have the 9 and the 10 inch. Um, and if you're a really tiny thrower, then maybe those are a better option. But for most people, I would recommend going 11.8. And if you get good at those and you want to play around with smaller ones, go ahead and do that. Um, but this is a great starting weapon. I'm going to put a link in the description to Flying Steel so you can check those weapons out um, and buy a couple. Um, they're, again, great weapons. They're going to last you indefinitely. All right, your greatest challenge with these is going to be not losing them. That's one thing I would recommend. Like when you do tape them, maybe like some neon green or some bright orange or something like that. Because with bow shurikens, they like to um, surf. So say you miss the target, they're going to come in flat and they're going to go into the dirt like that. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Um, you're definitely going to see me throwing these in the future. I did some really cool no reload stuff with this the other day. Um, I just wasn't filming. So there's a lot of potential in these weapons. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.